Hello there and welcome back. I'm Maddie and this is Great Quest for Knowledge. So I just briefly wanted to talk about the autumn equinox. I am so thrilled that we are finally into spooky season because of course autumn is my favorite season. I absolutely love the weather. I love the clothing. Being nice and cozy by the fire, it's definitely the time to be reading. And on that note, I wanted to mention my pagan book club. I have a Patreon that offers at its lowest tier a pagan book club. For this book, we're going to be reading Jackson Crawford's The Poetic Edda, which is a scholarly but very readable uh, translation of the Old Norse poems. It covers thrilling and even tragic adventures of Vikings and Old Norse heroes, as well as some of the gods. This book is quite the staple in a Norse pagan journey, and I think I'm willing to say that this translation done by Jackson Crawford is one of the most sought after because of how digestible the information is. This fall, one of my goals is to try to read more. So in addition to the Pagan Book Club, I am also trying to read more spooky classics. And for me, this includes Bram Stoker's Dracula. I want to reread it this year. It's one of my absolute favorites. I'm probably going to hold off on some of the really spooky ones like that until it gets further into the autumn season. But as you can see, this beautiful edition of Bram Stoker's works actually includes more than just Dracula. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am a huge fan of the foiling on the pages. I mean, this silver is beautiful. And of course, on my list, I also have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So this is an absolute classic as well. Um, I did spend the extra money. I splurged a little bit just to make sure that I had this beautiful edition. The cover is gorgeous. It also has the foiling and, of course, the silk ribbon. If I can help it, these are my favorite kind of books to buy. Autumn and the changing seasons are so important to pagans. And because of this, I wanted to talk about different activities you can do. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be pagan for a lot of these. While the autumn equinox can be called different things between different types of paganism, the associated ties to the harvest, connecting with people, and the approximate dates remain about the same. No matter what kind of pagan you are, the autumn equinox is very important, which is the harvest, celebrating the food and the abundance and making connections with people. It may have different names, it may have a slightly different way to celebrate, but the overall balance and giving thanks and focus on the harvest is quite a common theme between each aspect of paganism. Paganism is so earth-oriented that just noticing the changes around you is an important part when the seasons are changing. So going on walks, making sure to get outside, and really appreciate the changing colors, the falling leaves, the crisp air, and especially the harvest that is associated with this time. I decided to kick off the harvest season by visiting an apple orchard. I had such a fun time. I picked some beautiful apples and visiting my local you pick farm, which is I guess sort of like a farmer's market. I'm not really used to this concept. This was my first time visiting an apple orchard where I could actually pick the apples myself. They had various other vegetables as well, which was absolutely fantastic. One of the most exciting times about the changing seasons is actually the changing fruits and vegetables available to you. And I really feel like that's a big way of celebrating in a small way as well. You are honoring the season when you are picking for the season, when you go grocery shopping. When you're eating things that are in season, that's a really great way to really connect with the earth and enjoy the abundance of what the earth has to offer. And of course, the 
autumn equinox is a time where the day and nights are at an equilibrium. Uh, that's kind of how I associate the words equinox. And because of this absolute balance, this is a great time to be gaining balance within yourself as well. Because we are in the dark half of the year, this is a great time for shadow work. And that kind of cycles back to that as within, so without, by addressing inner feelings and deep set insecurities. But by working through these things, you are bringing light to your situation as we transition into the more light half of the year, the more abundant half where you are gaining prosperity, bringing new things into your life. But while we are in the dark half, this is the time for quiet contemplation, connecting with ancestors, and again, finding that sense of balance. Uh, we are about to move into the days getting shorter, the nights getting longer, and having less daylight hours. But while we are having that perfect balance, this is a really great time to start doing some spiritual work. Uh, if you want to be reaching out to ancestors with the day and nights being in balance, the spiritual energy is quite high at this time. Uh, I actually think that this is an easier time to connect with spirits and ancestors and doing spiritual work like this because the veil is very thin between our world and the spiritual plane. I know that this is typically done around October 31st, the autumn equinox is actually my favorite time to start making those connections. While we are in this time of year, it's great to remember that historically, this would be a time for really trying to preserve food and build up some sort of a stockpile because there wasn't going to be a lot of food around in the winter. So as much as this is a time for preparation and really settling in and creating that balance, this is a time to remember to be thankful. We are, of course, thankful for everything that the earth has given us, but we are also thankful for the connections that we have with other people. Ways to incorporate the autumn equinox and paganism into daily activities include just making sure you go outside, making sure that you check everything out, you appreciate your surroundings. If you know how to do any sort of canning of vegetables, this is a great time to do that as well. Creating that stockpile to last the winter is kind of a theme historically. A great simple way to connect with nature in the changing seasons also includes watching the sunset and sunrise and just honoring that balance. You can also dress for the season, so wearing autumn colors or colors that represent different aspects for you using color correspondences. Oranges and reds are the most obvious, however, for protection, there is a reason why witches are usually depicted as wearing black. It's a very protective color. Brown is also a very great one during this time because the color correspondence is very earthly and grounding. Also associated with the harvest, you can go wine or beer tasting. Building a bonfire, connecting with people, and having a barbecue. Go dancing, celebrate. And one of my personal favorites, cooking or baking is a fantastic way to connect to the season as well, especially if it has to do with things that are being harvested around this time. This year I want to be baking a autumn equinox bread and as we get closer to October 31st, I'll be focusing more on consecration cakes, um, which are the easiest thing to do because they can be cupcakes with an intended purpose. Great food correspondences for this time, especially because it's such a feast-oriented holiday, would include apples, bread, carrots, various root vegetables especially. So onions, potatoes, squash, corn, nuts, and bread is really, really big during this time. Your drinks are going to be cider, mead, and wine.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has helped you find new ways to incorporate celebrating autumn in your daily life. If you like this content, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'll link that Patreon down in the description bar if you're interested in joining. It's a great way to support this channel. However, you can also do that by liking this video. Uh, if you'd like to see more of the content, you can support it by subscribing down below and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss any of the content. I post every Friday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!